Okay. And now... I'm going to add a little bit of effects to it. Now, this, you know, there is a million different things you can do here. But uh, I'm just going to change uh, the coloring a little bit. And I'm going to add a... Uh, effect as well. Another effect. Now, this is the color corrector. I think you have to have the platinum version to have this. And you can basically overlay these colors over any image in any kind of way you want. So it's kind of neat in that respect, but you really don't need it to change the color. So don't worry if you don't have the platinum version. There's other things that can change the color. Uh, several. You just kind of have to look around here. But the color corrector is really handy for that. Glow is another way to do it. You can just, you know, have a hue of glowing, like glowing blue or red or, you know. It's not a big deal. So, you know, Sony Vegas has a lot of effects. I am definitely not going to be talking about them. But, uh... Let me I just scroll ahead here. Okay, and I settled on one of my favorite effects. Uh, it's called Cartoon. It's one of the fancy pants ones that comes with the third party software. And it basically just uh, changes the video or the image to make it look a little bit drawn. It's not a huge difference, but it's an effect that I like. So that's what our banner looks like right now. Now I'm playing around with the colors a little bit. Like that, I believe, was red only. Another way to change the coloring without the color corrector. I'm showing you the preview window so you can see the results instead of me just tinkering around. And that's the white glow. It didn't work out too well, so I took it off. Red glow, another way to change the coloring without image corrector. I mean color corrector. So now once I get done screwing around here uh, you know what? I lied. I am using a color corrector here. I'm changing the hue a little bit to kind of a... It's going to be kind of a light uh, cyan slash violet -y looking shade. Not a major change, but uh, I seem to like it at that moment in time. Come on, wrap it up, wrap it up. Come on. Okay. Now, I didn't like the red outline with the text, so I went back and I changed it to a black uh, outline. It worked a little bit better with the color, I thought. And now I am going to finally move the uh, text using the, the pan crop menu. And I'm going to add another picture. Now I had a few images here I was thinking of using maybe in this banner. But uh, I, I'm just going to throw in 
one of my pictures here that I drew. No reason in particular, I'm just showing you that you can do it. Now, this picture is a transparent GIF. You can't make transparent GIFs with Sony Vegas, but uh, that's why, um, you know, it fits perfectly over the foreground. Okay, now you see how it's disappearing when I move it left. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, when you enter an image, you want to right click on it and you want to select uh, match source. That will change its uh, ratio when you make it bigger or smaller. So you can move it all around the uh, dimensions of the screen size you're working with. And it won't disappear like that. So I change that to match the source. Now I'm making it bigger and uh, or smaller and I'm positioning it where I want. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Come on. Let's wrap it up. Alright. So, now we have a crappy little banner that I made there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to Best Full you might not need to have to select best full uh, simply best auto might be enough but uh, best full just to be safe what uh, best means is it's the quality of whatever you're looking at like when I had it on preview before it had slightly diminished image quality so it would load faster in real time but before you save it you want to select best so go to best auto and then just save it wherever you want and there you have your banner and this is the final result not too shabby now the black and white lines at the top and the bottom are only there because it doesn't fit perfectly in this resolution since it's 500 200 I'm working on something else but uh, well there you go I will probably make at least one more tutorial like I said doing some better images or banners and doing a little bit more complicated editing so stay tuned if you're interested in that alright see you later